Hello and welcome back for what could be the final time of tonight's proceedings in the ESL 1 New York EU qualifiers. Big and Nip, the last quarterfinals, first maps down. Big took it in overtime on train, their choice of map. And now we move across to Nip's map, which is Cash. And I mean, historically, over the last, well, 6 to 12 months, Nip have been godlike on this map. They've been really solid since, of course, Threat came in way back mm -hmm. when they were almost unstoppable when it came to Cash. Yeah, I will say they slowed down a bit, but you're certainly right that they're very comfortable on this map and that, you know, Threat did do a lot for this team as far as coming up with some better executes for particularly the A-bomb site uh, and just kind of some added utility to make them a little bit more powerful on taking that area and also just kind of even improving their mid control and different things like that as well. So I uh, have to give uh, a huge shout in that regard. But to be fair, Big also pretty solid when it comes to... Cash, to be honest, it's been one of their better maps. So, are we going to see Big romp through 2 0? Is the question. Nip will have a few things to say about that starting on the T side of the map. All over poised on the A side. Spokes coming through. Taps in with a pistol. Certainly a player to watch out for in these kind of confrontations. He is so good with them. But he will go down, to allowing Nexto to be freed up to land two of his own and exist. Who is using the smoke for cover? He's going to cross to the site. Doesn't have control of the bomb just yet. Going for the Glock burst fire. What? He's going to yield him one frag, but Gobby won't allow him to get any more. And his account has been shut at just the two in the round. And Big will pick up another pistol. Indeed, they will. And so, no bomb plant coming in. So, no chance for an early buy for Nip. So, we will see some pistol armor coming out in this round. Deagles on Forest and Draken. As well as some armor. Make it three Deagles. Rez will join them. Some Tech Nines are out as well. Let's see what they want to do here. Is they will just kind of spread the map. So basically playing their default. Get right B. Rez door. Rez focus towards mid nay. So again, this is essentially what their default looks like. Just trying to see if they can find some picks from their default with the Deagles, I suppose. As Forrest is boosted up. The spot one. It's a little bit of nade damage. Kind of negligible though. Yeah, not much to write home about, really, from either team's perspective. Bomb still dropped out to the T-side of Garage. The player in Squeaky, that's going to be Rez. He's taken 16 health. In terms of damage, Forrest with just two. Draken has lost all of it. Loses his head quite literally. Next, puts the 9mm round in his head. And leave a mark. Now, Garage is starting to maneuver its way through, useless towards the B-site. That's going to be Get Right with the bomb in his hands. Mid control has been assumed by ninjas. This kind of range, though, big don't necessarily need to worry about mids. They can just plow it from quads and the sight box, respectively. But now the terrorists are moving into position over on B. 30 seconds left to try and carve out this B take. Exist is going to be smoking the CD side. Eats the flashbangs. You got valuable time. Now going to start to move through. Looks like there could be a flash put on the site, but Gobby's already ahead of this with his M4. He's just rattling bullets down range and landing headshots. Now it's up to get right close range. He's picked up two, but won't have any more. The bomb plant will not be forthcoming. And they pick up yet another one. Yes, yeah, so I mean, a little bit of damage done by NIP there. They did bring down a few guns, forcing a little bit of rebuying out of Big, but nothing too dangerous. They never really threatened the bomb plant. They never got too far ahead. So Big will just firmly secure that second round. A great chance for a third as well. There really isn't anything for NIP to be doing in this round. Keeve and Nex will even still try to see if they can't make something happen with these SMGs and get some more dollar dollar bills for the future. As Nex does take a quick peek into A main. We'll get a pop flash to follow it up. Catches one throwing a nade and finds a free kill. But Drake unable able to respond. And it will spill out Thor as well. But Taps is here to greet them. As well as Leggy up. And they will stamp that out quite quickly before it gets out of control. So 3-0 for Big. But here's where the purchase will come from NIP. It is a little bit lacking, though. There won't be an AWP out, and they don't even really have that much utility. But it all spells well for Big. Hey, Case. For the Swedes. Coming through into this one. Gobby just with a MP9. Have the orb in play. Four smokes in the hands of the ninjas as well. 
An aggressive position is being assumed, and Tabson is going to connect the headshot. But he's actually sprayed through the wall. Around the right position. Did quite a bit of damage, actually, all things considered, onto Rez. About 15 in total. Considering it's a wall bang with the M4A1S, not expecting too much to stick. Okay, Tabson. I feel like you kind of overstayed the welcome there, man. I, I mean. I don't understand why he's repeating that. I mean, he wasn't. He was trying to get up on the boost position for whatever reason, but he just got spammed through the smoke. But either way, I mean, after he got that one kill, that should have been more than enough to say, all right, let me get the heck out of here and play a safe position. But instead, he kind of lingers around, gives Nip a chance to spam him down through a smoke. And that will even it back up to a four on four with still a good amount of time left. Next, nice pot flash to come in and chase Rez. Rez gets behind the wall for cover, but it doesn't matter. Next, go finds him out. And big, they're starting to roll out some frags now in a key moment of the round. Big is staying in this one though. The player advantage is going to be solid for them. That Molotov is going to finish off next, however, get right with two in quick succession. He's down to 44. But now it's just Keev that stands in his way. Oh, this is brutal to get right. He's not going to expect Keev to be in this position whatsoever. Probably scared him to be honest. Just suddenly Keev out of nowhere. And Big will pick up a 4 0 lead. Looking great for them so far, early doors. Yeah, Keith gave him the RKO right there. Definitely shouldn't have been there. And it's going to be 4-0 for Big. I got a little bit worried with the whole situation with Tabson, but I think they did really well across the rest of the map to get things back going, particularly Nexus push and Sweaky Door really helped, getting some good exchanges at middle. Came down to 1v1, but they do win and out. Again, Tabson gets aggressive at A main, spots two players and backs off, puts a nice incendiary on Sweaky Door. Really stopping it from being able to get out fast. And look at the rotation time it's bought. Four players in position now for Big. Should be a massacre. And so far it has been. The Butch is going to work once again. Yep, right. It's not going to happen for him. And so five rounds have came and passed. And collectively, Big have only picked up 11 kills. Not too great, really. Just averaging over two kills around, and that's why. But they are in a pretty decent economic situation. I mean, they can buy again next round, whatever happens here. Yeah, just good, good job there by Tats and the kind of spot what was going on. Get in the area on Sweaky Door, really slow things down. And just a good rotation for Big across the board. Forest, look at this guy. The stones on him. Well then. Yeah, I know. Like just get up top the fire. Oh well, I'll still trade two for one. No big deal. Definitely a trade worth taking. Well, there's not much you can do about that. Really, from Big's perspective, they're assuming the Molotov would just completely fend off Forrest from even attempting that, but that's not the case. I mean, that's what Nip need. They need to kick up the backside. They need a bit of inspiration, somebody to pull out a play out of nowhere. There have to be a lot more of those plays in the back pocket, though, you feel, if Nip want to not just win this round, but the map overall. Yeah, again, like, the only way you'd be alerted to that is maybe a smoke comes to extinguish it. Then you have to think about maybe a push out, but not when it's just straight up fire. But four, someone gets two kills, crazy stuff. Could be the big reason why they win this round if they wind up doing so. But Keeve is still around, and he pushes B, gets a kill. And they're kind of stuck in checkers because there's still one CT as well. So getting through is going to be a bit difficult. Legia pushing through, finding a kill on a flank. Again, the odds are stacking against NIP. After that great opening start by Forrest, everything is crumbling once more. Got B, should have his man of yet right, and finally converts. Incendiary to the back of the site. Not quite on point for Exist, but of course it is going to be a retake scenario now for Big. Exist on the site, three separate angles for him to watch out for, and Legia lands it on the first time of asking. And if you've got Forrest pulling off plays like that on boost, you're still losing the rounds. Things are getting out of control. I wouldn't be surprised if Nip call a pause soon. Yeah, you would think it has to be coming any moment now. Just crazy stuff. Again, Forrest makes a huge play. You think he should be able to follow up, but somehow, some way, Big still find it in them to take the round key, pushing B with an AWP. Certainly unorthodox catches a kill. Legia pushing through A. Catches the lurk. I mean, it's everything went in Big's favor after that initial push from Forrest. As Forrest again taking some fire damage, but this time it doesn't lead to two kills and a death. This time it just leads to a standstill. As they will again just kind of play it default and passively. 
No AWP for Drake to work with. Next does have a little bit of an off angle here, boosted on top of the balcony in the corner, so that may be something that catches Nip off guard once they do decide to come out in A, if that is the selection. This is such a passive default from Nip. They don't even have A main control. Yeah, this it is the issue they seem to fall into. Like it's great against anti ecos. They're one of the best teams in the world at anti ecos at one point on this map after threat mm -hmm. joined. But when you're against a team like Big that are very patient themselves, don't make a lot of unforced errors, and have great economy with weapons, they have no reason to push you. They have no reason to try and be aggressive. They they're well and truly coasting mm -hmm. along so far on the CP side, and so Nip are going to draw out the majority of their allotted time and probably try and execute with some like 25, 30 seconds left. With Big maybe having Ooh. all their players alive, this is just affording to do just this, what Leggy is pulling off right now. There's no pressure at all. Nip have got to speed things up. Yeah, I mean, Forrest was boosted looking for mid control access with this rifle, but no one from Big was really giving him a chance. And Legia then comes up with a double kill, and still they don't know about Nexus position. It could be the checkmate move here. He's going to get. Oh, I thought he got two. He does wind up with two, but Tatsun's actually kind of finished off the first guy he was going for. But nonetheless, it is Big with seven rounds. Absolutely great stuff out of this team, and there it is that timeout you were you were thinking about from NIP. It does come out. It yeah, just, be I mean, around that's too just late, a, though. Yeah, I think it might have been around too late as well. But I mean, that's just a big double kill from Legia in middle, honestly. I mean, you can see that they went for the late mid boost. They had four scoping things out, but he just couldn't find any entries. And then Legia just has an off angle on him, and then next has the the big boost still on balcony at A. Not really a boost, but still an uncommon position to hold from. And so Nip have been just falling prey to every little gimmick that Big's thrown their way. Every little push that Big has done has been successful. Every every play that Big goes for, every time they take initiative, it's always panned out. And again, they're, they're averaging around the same. After seven rounds, they have... 14 kills so they're averaging two per round which is just fine for big you've got nearly 11k on key that's after a buy they're in great shape and they just haven't been doing that much honestly dragons down to one and seven res two and seven exist three and seven get right in forest only have four yeah besides Long's those really two shining. kills from forest through the fire there have really been nothing for you to get up out of your chair about from nip in this game absolutely not yeah that's it and that's after losing the first map you know you're wanting them to come out swinging all guns blazing, but it has been somewhat of a slumber party right now for Nip. They, they really need to wake up, and maybe that's what this pause is going to do. Get them a kick up the backside. Yeah, again, I know Threat has cooked up some faster high utility executes, particularly for the A bomb site. It's kind of one of the things he brought to the table, particularly just blanketing the entire A bomb site with Molotovs. That was like one of the big things that Threat brought out. Like the just heavy Molotov usage that no one really had on the A bomb side of Cash until he came through, and now it's kind of a staple in many teams' playbooks to have it. So I'll be curious to see if they bring out something like that, or maybe something new. I have to figure out something though, as bigger quickly approaching double digits on this first half. There's not much that Nip can do about it in this round, as they will again try to go for some type of boosted play. Oh, I like this. So they boost up three. What Rez is likely going to do is try to open door and pull a tension highway. Like pull the highway rotator over to A so that they can freely come out mid and run up highway. I think that's the goal here. And as you can see, everyone's CT is actually truck. And so they will get up highway for free. It's a really cool execute, I've got to say, by Nip. And they, they have got the reward in the sense of the kill. It could be more than that. But next, he's been on point with his AK, and he's not going to miss this time either. Flashbang, but still lands the shot onto Forrest. As good as that started for Nip, the bomb's in a horrible spot now. They have to go out into the open, into no man's land, behind enemy lines to retrieve the bomb. And in doing so, they almost certainly will die. They exist last man standing, he's able to put down Ligia before he falls. Time... Is of the essence. Almost four enemies now for exist. Doesn't have nades either to flash onto the likes of trucks we can get across. And even if he did, keeps on sandbags. Crosshair pried onto the quad, and this this round's all but done. Yeah, definitely. Exist will grab 
the AK and just kind of try to make something happen here as far as frags go. Ah. Doesn't want to, you know, stay alive and die after time, and saving the AK wasn't even worth it at that point. Just wanted to make sure he died and got the money. That's exactly what's going to happen. Big up 8-0 NIP. We'll finally have an AWP in Draken's hands, and he's been quite quiet on this map thus far, as most of the team has, so maybe this will be Sparky needs to come back alive and get something going as he was pivotal for them on train. I like the effort though, Dust, as, as you highlighted, it was a pretty cool setup, especially considering it was just pistols and Kevlar. It's and a pistol round strat a lot of teams used to use back in the day. I don't yeah. see it as much anymore. Oh, what a horrible start. Again, Ligia this time just peeks through Garage. Claims the kill on Get Right. They've been saving for this rifle purchase. This is after the pause as well, and it couldn't have started any worse. Maybe Nip, Nip should just skills. Maybe Nip should just Molotov boost before they send Forest out. Give him that encouragement. <laughs> Ooh, not far off. Exist playing with fire there. Wanted to duck away and get the hell out of there. Teeth now. Did just spot a couple of legs jumping across. Exist. How is he still alive? How is he still in a position to maybe pick up a second kill? That's unbelievable. So well, maybe not over just yet then. Keith turns his back so this teammate could flash him into B. Still a lot of time though. Nip don't have to pull a trigger on B. They could play some mind games and rotate through garage towards the A site now. Or at least to that sense of doubt and enforce taps and to respect the A bomb site. I mean, at the very least, now that they've lightened up the B defense a different way, which means they will still beat less resistance, even though they are pretty much committed to B. Exist is sneaking around, though. He might try to throw some action up highway. Now, next is a good position to stop him from flanking. But it's still going to be really relying on Keys Op and the B bomb site, what he can accomplish. But Exist gets caught. That's big to give Big the man advantage back. Oh, Rez lands the tasty headshot onto Key. He's going to go for the upright. I thought he going to go for the plant, but actually just fakes it instead. Going to go for the plant now instead. And finalizes. Taps next. What have you got in the lockup? Rez has been pretty solid today, but not good enough to contend with Taps. And a ninth round will fall. And that's only the second plant that Nip have got in nine rounds. Again, yeah, goes to show how dominant this has been from Big. Team Ace as well from Big in that round. Everyone getting a piece of NIP on that one. Big props to Nex for catching Exist out in middle and giving them the man advantage on the retake. Eve also getting that op shot off was pretty big. As it is now 9-0, and Nip have to do more with less in this round. No op for Drake and a little bit less utility to back them up as well in this one. Again, Tapson getting aggressive in A main is going to nade Drake and back and get the smoke out. And so again, just denying Nip space. That's just the bare necessity is getting into A main and at least giving yourself a staging ground. They don't even have that now. And mid has been shut down for the most part. Forces had no success coming out, except for that one round he ran through fire. Thompson. Cheeky moment down from the A main boost. Molotoving, making sure he doesn't get aggressed on afterwards. As if he goes for a repeat there. That is so confident with the amount of health he had left. You fancy him just to pull back to the site and chill with Nex. That's what I thought he was going to do. He got caught doing that as well in uh, the boosted position earlier in the half, but it didn't wind up mattering. Obviously, biggest one every round. But maybe that one might come back to haunt them. Though Drake and Exist are pretty low on HP, so that does help big out a lot. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, please. Some of these decisions, though, I've got to scratch my head at them, to be honest with you, and it's going to cost them the round more than likely. Oh. This now can funnel his way around the back and get God beat. But there were two or three moments there where Big went for aggressive plays or moves when it really wasn't required. And he now has to try and clean up the mess. Yeah. I'll give Leggy the benefit of the doubt. I don't even know if he was looking to actually push A main. I don't think he realized there was a gap in the smoke there where his foot was going to get spotted for free. Maybe he was just thinking about transition to the boost position or something. Uh, so I'll give the benefit of the doubt on that. I think that was just an unlucky smoke placement that he didn't really realize. But yeah, Tabson did kind of overextend there. Gave up a free advantage. Nonetheless, Big still have plenty of breathing room. 
Oh, so something like that doesn't really harm them too much. And if they answer right back and retort onto Nip, and they break their economy, they put them back in the shackles. Um, well, it's looking like it's going to get into a pretty sticky Ooh. situation. Get right. He's not going to allow that to come to fruition, though. He will take down Keith, who's been a, a solid member of Big this last couple of maps. But taps and makes amends for that previous mistake. Oh, I like that. Almost faking like he closed the door already. Maybe trying to play the sound cues, making him think he's closed, squeaky, and he's off, but actually he's pushing instead. But Exist doesn't care. Your mind games mean nothing when your brains have just been blown out the back of your head. Player advantage for Nip. Got to capitalize on this. They can't afford to slip from here. Yeah, Draken just posted up looking for any type of B aggression. With this AWP, they have Exist still over towards Door, so they're keeping map control all across the board. The only thing that might harm them is the fact that Legia does have an aggressive position at middle here, so we could catch Forrest again, perhaps, who is on that boost. And that could even things back up if that were to happen, as Legia is actually choosing to push through my catch Draken, and he does! And looking for Forrest on the boost as well. If he gets that, that could be it. Legia like just seems to have a sixth sense for when to peek and when not to through garage and oh my he god the headshot into Forrest as well. He's got one health left. That could make all the difference. Forrest is stuck in a whole different kind of metaphorical jail right now. That's an old school reference. I like it. Fifteen seconds. Exist like is being plowed through smoke. Get right. Also down to just over fifty. Make that below fifty. Make that dead. And so is Exist. And Nip have been broken. Just exist in a place to really feasibly get an AK and armor. And it's likely going to be a half fight. This is almost as bad as it gets from Nip's perspective at this stage. They needed to keep the momentum going forward. They just can't get any map control, man, really. I mean, they can't get out A main. They, sometimes they don't even get into A main. Like, Tass has done a pretty good job about forcing them back. Force has never been able to get mid control, really. I mean, it's just been, you know, shut doors all across the map, just being slammed in Nip's face. As it will be a save push from Nip into the B-bomb site. Keeve, though, not smoked off. He'll be able to just put the off to work from CT side. Finds two kills. Gob now chiming in as well. And together, they will put an 11th round on the board for Big, as they are now 10 rounds ahead of NIP and just have a dominant lead and have just looked down at throughout the game. Everything's gone their way. I can't even believe Legate gets that kill on Forrest with 1 HP. Like, how unreal is that? Yeah, yeah. You're expecting Forrest to get that kill. That's a facepalm moment for him, and you couldn't blame him. I feel like he should have had that. Well, this time Legate's peak is not going to be fruitful. Draken's down to 3 and Forrest on 20, though. A stray nade could end both of their lives. As if Tabson's called his M4, M4A1S Hot Tabson. Bruh, come on. Come on, cuz. Got B's dead anyway. Maybe Nip can bounce back. Maybe they can finish this half 11 4, make a real go of it on the second half. Gotta win this one. Trying to be as optimistic as possible. This round looks like it is gonna go the way of the sweets. That's all down to the Hot Tabson. There's the first one. It is actually a clear kill as well. Doesn't lose any health. Bolsters his chances of getting this clutch. And he's got enough money to go for whatever damage he can get. He's got a kit. He's got an incendiary that he can put on the site and perhaps disrupt the spawn plant. Or at least flush someone out of position. Two players are low on HP, but again, he's still got a fancy nip here. Oh, definitely, yeah. As good as Tapson is, and he is a real powerhouse... The chances are, as soon as he moves out of main, uh, or CT, pardon me, the tree room, he is just going to get crossfired out of his shoes. But player to his left, one to his right, doesn't know if there's a player flanking him at this point. Looking for exits, ultimately. And won't be happening. He did do a lot of damage to exist, dropped into 10, but Nip will take the round, keeping four players intact. That was one of those scenarios where it's just like, you're not going to win the round, but you could try to do as much damage as possible, force some rebuying out of NIP, keep their economy low for the rest of the half, and just make it easier on yourself for the future. But 
Nothing to be found there. And it's going to be double op for Big, by the way, in this round. First time I've really seen them go for it. Legia will have the second one. He's mostly been an aggressive rifler at mid, but he'll kind of change things up in this one. Because he will have it mid, but he'll be playing it passively. Meanwhile, again, Tabson looking for maybe that pop flash push in the squeaky door. He hasn't opened the door just yet, though. There it comes. There's the flash. But it's going to be Tabson <laughs> who gets rocked. Oh, that was so awkward. It's like he turned his back as they both peeked him, and then a flash came, and then he went pushing and just got wrecked from the side. I just realized as well, I was watching the stream back, it doesn't say Hot Tabs on the streamer's perspective. I, I swear it, his name of his gun is Hot Tabs, and I just make that up. Fair I'm enough. not that weird. Meanwhile, Bomb's still outside of A main. Taking control over boost, the gear nearly gets destroyed through the smoke once more. What are you that doing, like? Why is he still there? I don't know. He really just wanted to get that jumpy cover with the smoke, I guess. I got the scouting information, but it's not worth your life. Well, it looks like this round will also go the way of Nip, making a resurgence in the last few rounds. Have they left it too little, too late? Only time will tell. And Keith gonna try and find a nice comfy corner to camp in and save his AWP. And it will pick up a third. Yeah, a little bit of sloppiness here from Big here and there. This time Nip's flying starts to capitalize on a little bit. It's gonna be a flawless victory for them actually to find the third, unless Keith winds up finding an exit. And actually, money's really not that great for Big in this next round. I mean, yeah, they could afford taps and chasing for kills in the previous, but Losing the round like they just did, I mean, pretty much sets up Nip to have the advantage to go for a fourth round, actually. Win. Well, here we have it. How is this half going to conclude? Will Big keep striding forwards? Will Big be able to take this map? and secure their position in the semis against Gambit. Or will Nip force a third round? So many questions. Let's find out some of the answers. That's around the half is kicking off. Double AWP set up on the T side. That's something you see too often. He is already taking quite a bit of damage as well. Down to 57. P250 in his hands. But it's going to be key if he gets the first kill. Molling is well to make sure no one pushes his position. That's a solid start for Big, and that's going to send shockwaves down Nip collectively. It's also one of the ups down, and it's Forrest who's gone with it. Give oh, me a has got break, the kill on dude. What is going on right now? I Surely can't not. even believe Levy keeps winning all these duels at middle in such disadvantageous situations sometimes. How is Keeve not dead? How is Keeve not Bolt's dead? forklift is too strong. That's why, Vince. Res that forklift so, triggers me so hard right now, man. First, you get Leggy with a couple P250 headshots, and then you got a forklift saving key on 14 health, and then he just gets the flick shot on you instantly afterwards. Like, if there's any justice in this world, get right clutches this 1v3. Keith better send a tweet to FM Pwn thanking him for that forklift. <laughs> Jesus. Get right's not going to get the clutch, though. There is no justice in the world. Well, <laughs> three. I mean, what can you say? Legia just styled on him at mid almost every single round. I mean, how many times did he shut down Forrest and then he shuts down Exist with the P250? I mean, if you can't get mid control, you can't even take A main. How many times did Tabson or Keith push A main and deny that? The Flash push the squeaky door. It's like Nip couldn't even get set up half the time. Uh, just excellent execution from Big when it came to their aggression. When it came to taking the fight to NIP, getting in their face, not getting them space to work with, not getting them room to breathe. Just constantly putting the pressure on the Swedes, and it netted them 12 rounds. I mean, they played that really well. I mean, short of a couple of mishaps where they overextended, but I mean, it didn't even matter. They still won 12 rounds. It definitely seemed like Big were dictating the pace of the action there uh, yeah. throughout. If they weren't playing aggressive, they were playing very, very passive, and effectively, Nip was, was sat back like, when are they going to peak? When are they going to peak? And then with 30 seconds left, they realize, well, they're not going to peak. And now it's all 10 plays left. We have very little time to execute. So I, I totally agree. I think Big played that that half extremely well. Deserved their 12 rounds. It could have honestly been more than that. We could be looking at a 14-132 sort of half right now. But Drake it. 
He doesn't care about the past. He's only going to be focusing on the here and now. That's going to include two headshots. Get right. And it's going to follow suit as well from the sandbags. Next set of really solid performance so far, but this is asking a lot from him for the labored scraps. But finally, he goes down, and Nip have picked up the second pistol. So maybe there's a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. That might be the saving grace for NIP, the fact that they do finally find some success. You do wonder if it's a bit too late, but as long as they don't fall prey to some type of force pie from Big, they'll at least be able to kind of slice the deficit in half a little bit. Still a lot of room they must gain, though. Yep, they can't slow down now. Has to be all systems go the floor. Drake is going to get himself a kill. The only kill that's came through from Big so far was on Res, and that was to the hands of Nex. And get right, we'll finish off with the FAMAS. Nex, 19 and 10. Top fragging for either side. Get right on 17. Legear on 15. Not typically a player you see towards the top of the scoreboard. It's not often he'll outfrag the likes of Tabson, by the way, but he's had a really good mid, I would say. Not necessarily cash, just mid. He was a boss there. No, he definitely did a fantastic job cutting that option off from NIP throughout their entire T side. And now Big will be on basically a full save, just one P250 on next. So this should be a six round for NIP, no problemo. Again, they are a map behind. Remember, Big did win the first map in overtime on train. The take oh stack onto next is pretty devastating. It also hit Lagir and Kev behind him as well. Or Keith, sorry, behind him. Just ruptured everybody. Did over 100 damage in total. Well, over 150, actually. All the damage you see on the side of Big was off those two nades. And now it should be a bloodbath. Question isn't will they die, it's who will kill them. And only Nex gets a kill in return. So here comes the true test for NIP, as it will be the full AK buy from Big. They do have a good amount of utility behind it as well. There will be an AWP out on to Draken. Everyone else on rifles that for exist who will hold on to the UMP. Looks like we do see a little bit of a play from Nip on the A side of the map, trying to get aggressive on a main and squeaky door. It is going to be an A focus from Big, by the way. Even get right cheating over through highway, so... Kind of a stack for Nip, all things considered. Draken trying to go oh. for that spam does hit Legia. Nah, bro. You already got a disgusting wall bang on train. No more, please. Oh, the flash is destroying Exist. He was in a good position with his UMP, but not able to get any more than just the one. Damage has been inflicted on Big. Yep, right now moving in. Surely about to die. It's a kill before falling, though. This is now on the cars, baby, for Nip to clutch. Nex has got two health. He doesn't know whether Rez is going to push him or not. And I think he's also worried in the back of his mind whether a nade could be forthcoming. So he's not entirely wanting to commit to planting the bomb. But in the meantime, Rez has read the situation that Nex is going to try himself a rotation, which is just simply not correct at all. So Nex is going to get the plant. This is so risky to actually stand on that side of the smoke where you've only got two health. They're going to see each other and Nex lands the headshot, threading the miracle shot with just two health. He's moved to 24 frags. What a monster. I mean, if he misses that shot, he loses, but he hits it. What a great one for Nex. And a good execute overall for Big on A. Like you said, the flashes were on point. The trades were great. I mean, limiting exists to just one kill off that boost was certainly impressive. And then it comes down to a 1v1 where Nex is playing from behind, still gets the job done. And that means Big is up 13 to 6. And Tabson leading the charge at middle. Takes down Draken. And was already kind of a forced buy from NIP. Their economy will be in shambles if they lose this round. Big also featuring the reset, to be fair. Both teams are in a pretty scrappy scenario right now. The kills are going back and forth. Next should be found out by Rez, and indeed he shall. He's looking for a second. Robby needs to be careful. He doesn't overcommit here. Kev just behind him. I've called him Kev again. Brilliant. Keeve. 
even. He's now on a one and two. Bombs dropped out. He does have a lot of time to get right flanking behind him. Is Keith going to pull this off? He's going to break the hearts of Nip again. No, he isn't. That's why I called him Kev, because it's an English name. That was UKCS. To be fair, I don't even know if Kev is an English name. Probably isn't. No idea. Big win for NIP. Again, if they lose that round, it's probably over, to be honest, just the way their money was. But instead, they get to reset Big and maybe have a chance to gain some ground while Big are busy taking some saves. As this will just be a P250 Eagle round out of the Germans. Even though... I think Abi is German and neither is Legia, but close enough. Oh, Legia trying to tank those Deagle bullets to the back of his head. I don't advise that. Oh, he just got destroyed off that nade. On the 21. Fair play to Nip, though. They are trying their best to battle back into this map of CS and keep themselves in this best of three. Oh, God, B wasn't far off landing that kill, but Eve is going to come through and lands it with a Deagle. Next, he's going to pick himself up a frag as well. Draken can connect up. We'll be able to silence next. So... It's not even going to be another buy coming up on the cards for big. Their economy is still not in great shape. Yeah, this is where Nip gets to play catch up, thanks to the fact that big just don't have the money to spend. They should have it in the next round, however. And they do have a little bit of utility behind this one, so I'm curious to see what Lugia will do with these two flashes in the smoke. Slow and steady wins the race. Big have three smokes. I'm thinking crisscross smokes mid to get the vents, and they're going to split B with one smoke for CT spawn. That would be a pretty solid choice. With just pistols, I feel like you have a better chance of maybe taking the B site than you do A. The A site's just been unlocked these last few rounds. It would be res they were facing off against plus forest and so far it seems that mystic dust strikes again oh get right get out of that 23 health left both players at the back of the site though this is where the smoke can really screw with them that has been thrown down it will land on the ct spawn side oh the fake it's gonna be a fake yeah didn't see this twist it's like in like Shyamalan's out here the twist and turns of this round they still have a flash as well in the hands of Tabson. Nagy is waiting in mid. Next in the meanwhile is in checkers. He's gone down. That could be the green light punched in now to just rush to charge. The problem is though that Exist is on the boost. And it's unlikely with just pistols that they can deal with him. Well, they actually have got the kill on Exist, but that's really only half of the problem. Because now the rest of the CT is moving in position and they've got the pincer movement on lock. 13-9. I like the idea by Big. I like that there were different layers of that strap, but ultimately pistols will get beaten by assault rifles and orps. It didn't really do enough on B to sell it. I mean, it never really forced Exist off his boosted position. It never really forced Draken to move his op. In fact, Draken was incentivized to stay at A because he was spotting people down highway. He knew that it was a chance that they might shift, so I think Nip just had a really good read on that one being a fake and just held their ground. A big arm back onto a full buy. They will have the AWP back in the hands of Kiev. He will be watching for a B push, and he would be right about it as that op is going to slide out from Draken, and he's going to pay for it. And so it is the opening that big wanted here. They'll get the work from an early 5-on-4 advantage. As they are also boosting up God B here, so they want to throw some mid control in the mix as well. What a time to play with. They're in no great rush. Get right keeps trying to jump over. Highway box is just peering into mid. 
Seeing if he spots someone going across the vent. And he had the right idea that Flash is going to be proceeding any push. He gets one kill and 50% of Tabson. He throws in that name that lands right on Forrest. Forrest is able to trade out though. Like yet tagging down Exist to 18, but Exist able to stand long enough to at least take the player with him. Next through with an entry. Does he have any more up his sleeve? No. Checks down highway and Forrest was on the site to strike and that flashbang once again on point these flashes from Nip. And pretty damn good. And it's going to yield them yet another round. And to put things in perspective, we've had eight rounds on this half. Seven of them have gone to Nip. Just the one to big. Indeed, that is the case. That one was really close, though. You felt good about it when Key gets the opening pick and the fact that they get mid control and they're able to trade out highway. I think they had a four on three at that point, so it was looking pretty good for Big, but it felt like once they got into that four on three, they got a bit disjointed. You know, you kind of saw him next get an entry at A, sure, but then he kind of pushed by himself. Like he, he killed Exist at forklift and he pushed it into the A bomb site while he's watching flank until. You know, next gets stuck into a 1v1 against Forrest in the site where he gets blindsided because he's peeking highway. And they, so they just weren't really set up to trade. I feel like when you're in a 4 on 3, you should always be putting yourself in trade scenarios so you always stay a man ahead. That just didn't really happen. So I think they started that round off well. They kind of fell apart in the end, and that's what allowed Nip away back. And to the credit of NIP, they are playing some good counter strike in this half. They're taking full advantage of what's given to them. And so they're starting to come alive in a key moment because, again, their tournament life's on the line. They lost the first map, and Nip was one of the favorites to make it to the finals from the side of the bracket. Yeah, yeah, I definitely would agree with that. And definitely take nothing away from Nip on this half. They have certainly turned it up a few notches. Match paused. I'm sure Gobby is trying to drill some instructions into the troops right about now. And I feel like, although Nipper played very well, on another day, two or three of these rounds actually could have gone the way of Big, and this could feasibly be over already. Right. So I think Big are a little bit unfortunate in how a couple of these trades and the latter stages of the rounds have gone. But Nipper definitely earned this comeback. So just pistols. Got nearly full round loss bonus on the horizon, so they're going to be able to afford AKs just fine the next round. Keeve. Don't expect to see him pick up armor with this. He wants the AWP in the next round, of course. Again, some smokes being bought up by Big in this round. Taps in with one as well as Gabi Legia and next. A few flashes sprinkled in as well. And Big seems to be like the team that always has a plan in rounds like this. Like I know a lot of teams I feel like I watch in rounds like this where they are just on pistols and they buy them into utility. They don't really seem to have a plan. Like They just kind of either play default, they just go for a quick rush. They don't really have things calculated. But Big always seems to kind of have a good idea about how to play rounds like this. That's one thing I will give them credit for on top of everything else we've seen today. Sometimes comments you receive are amazing. Castle needs to STFU nip for president. Reasonable. Yep. Never mind that we're giving them props or anything for coming back. Just just ignore that, of course. Yep. P two fifties across the board. A few smokes. And a boost up for Legia. Looking for the flash over. Tabs is gonna be tossing that in. Yep, so the crisscross smokes are coming out again. Last time they faked the B execute and went A. I'm kind of curious to see what mind games they're playing with this one. Damage being inflicted, just being spammed up through the smoke. Get right hasn't shown himself too much just yet, but Legia has now spotted him. Knocks him down to 68. Next is going to eat that molly onto his head as well. Packing away, making sure that the flames don't spread to him, but Draken is going to go for the peak anyway. Sub 30 seconds. Big got to get a move on there. Really trying to sell this fake on towards B, but it's not really drawing up too many of the CTs. Sure, Draken and Exist on, on the site itself. That's a beautiful one tap, by the way, by Forrest. Gets to the bottom, that's all they wanted. Yeah, the one plant is uh, Whoa, actually not really it. happening because a nade is going to stop it. Touchdown. 
yeah, the incendiary and HD grenade came out and pretty much thwarted that. But you can see the idea that was in motion and almost worked out. Almost got what they wanted. Good utility, though, from NIP to hold that off. A big R back on to a buy. They had the AWP in Keeve's hands. AWP for Draken as well. And money's really good for NIP right now, including the, including the utility. I mean, full sets for everyone. So, I mean, Nip certainly right back in this game now. All that ground that Big had from the 12th year lead has pretty much withered away. Yeah, it sure has. This looked like it was going to be a formality for a second map with Big stomping to a 2-0 win, but they've had other ideas. Their first half was poor, second half has been nearly flawless. It's now getting towards the 10th round and 9 of them... Pardon me, 8 of them have gone to Nip and 1 to Big. Yeah, Big was up 13-6. I mean, they lost Pistol, the 3-0 pattern went against them. Fair enough, but then they won the opening gun round, and you were like, all right, they're back in business, but the response from Nip has been on point. Just a couple away from tying this thing back up. Big are running out of chances to avoid a loss or extra rounds. As they will gather up for a B execute here. They have plenty of nades to back them up. Molotovs to blanket the site, smokes to isolate. Legging in the meantime, slipping a great fake on the A bomb site with an entry. He's just playing by himself. He's holding people in place. Really faking this out, though. There's actually nobody on the B site. It's just Rez, who's in heaven, who's trying to hold down the fort by himself. He's able to get one, but keep right back with another. Forest, not far off, landing the kill. Oh, why didn't he go for that shot? I mean, that almost guaranteed would have been the kill into glove B. And he's going to relocate. He will be taken down by the hands of Keith. Now Draken with his own AWP is going to try and stop this. The bomb crosses. Oh, my. Like from Keith is beautiful. I thought for a second Big played themselves there. I thought that was a DJ Khaled moment because they really just weren't hitting that bomb to the site even though that they had it dead to rights. It almost gave Forrest a chance to stop Gabi from getting in and causing a lot of problems. Luckily, Kiev hits a sick op shot. And now it is 14-11. Big do finally find another one, but the money is still there for NIP. What's, what's particularly impressive about that shot is it's not necessarily the angle that you'd be checking first because yep. he was up on the box on the tree. Like, normally you're going to be checking down below from sort of a head height chest perspective. You want to hit center mass with the AWP as much as you can. And obviously, you're guaranteed the kill. But because Draken was up on the box, Keith had to flick towards him. A little lightning fast reaction speed. Very well played indeed. And now Nick, with a match pause, realized that they are on the brink of loss still, even though they've managed to really claw their way back on the CT half. Draken's going to have no nades. They exist only with two. Get right. He can fill uh, his utility belt full of nades if he so chooses, which I'm sure he will. So curious to see how this round plays out. Now, I'm not sure whose tactical timeout that was, to be honest. I don't know if it was Nip trying to quickly get their minds back right after losing a round like that, or if it was Big trying to make sure they gather themselves that they're almost letting it slip. I'm not really sure what the timeout rules are, so I can't really know. But Draken getting aggressive at Squeaky is going to find the kill on the leggy. That's big time stuff. No way to capitalize. It smokes up, so they can't trade. I think Nip just need to keep a cool head on their shoulders. They've been doing a great job on their CT side. Just play that off as a one-off fluke that Big have picked up. Going back to what's been working so far. And with Big losing Legia right off the bat, it's going to put more pressure on them. Flash over just to make sure that none of the mid players are pushing up close. Flies them up a little bit of real estate, a bit of control over mid. Bomb still dropped out towards T. That's going to get picked up by Keith. Who has the AWP? Now, options are still open. Judging by the fact that the bomb is now traversing its way into A main, I think this is going to be an A hit as opposed to a, a B execute or maybe a B split. Right. No info for Nip, though. They can't know if this is a B split or not. Get right's not really peeking out middle, so two B players have to stay in position. 
So that could help Big out, especially if Get Right peaks and they can get this frag, but they might get caught with nades in their hands. That's unreal timing. I feel for Big there, actually, like, a lot. That was just unbelievable timing. And Exist, he goes unchecked. Keith may have assumed that the bomb was clear after Nexus managed to get himself onto the site. Nexus is just going to be teeing off on frags and nearly lands another one through the smoke. That would have been disgusting. Right, Nexus ran out of time, ran out of options. Uh, Nip will have a 12th round. Nice try, Nex, but not quite good enough. He's 31 and 17. He has certainly been on point in this map, no question about it. And that round, that moment, looked like it might be alright for Big, but I mean, like you said, the unreal timing from Get Reich and the way he peaked middle when a Molotov was coming out. They were just moments away from stopping Get Right from being able to peak mid and being able to get up high lanes, put that A bomb side. So, I mean, it's just, like you said, one of those unfortunate timings for Big. Well played by Get Right, having those spidey senses. Incendiary stops the boost for now, but now Big will go for it. They still have that AWP on Kiev. Everyone else still just pistol armor. They've really just bought down to their bottom dollar for this round, and they're going to have no money in the neck, so Nip have a great chance to tie if Big don't make this force buy work. That's basically the long and the short of it right now. And if Big lose this, Nip will be in prime position. Absent, unbeknownst to him, he's going to have Draken on the opposite side of the box to him. He's just been flashed. He can actually get two frags. He was so good with his eagle, and he's able to connect both of them. That name is well good by himself on to get right. But actually, won't and get right will pounce onto Legia. But he goes down too. Not like this, Nip. You're in such a good position. Bomb planted. How's their economy looking? Oh, the economy is horrible as well. They may have to just save these weapons. Does look that way, doesn't it? Force is already backpedaling. Taps in position to try to cut it off, perhaps. He does have the M4. Forrest is going to go peeking. Might catch Tapson on the reload, but Tapson able to get back. Jump spots Forrest out. Knows what's up. Catches the timing. That could be nip done. That could be them bowing out of the ESL 1 New York qualifiers. Because going through into this next round, if Rez is able to save his M4, and that's not guaranteed, but if he is, there's not going to be much to follow it up. Three players on 1400, get right on 2.9k, Draken on 2000. Now this is going to be a horrible buy to save them on this map. It's almost like some sick justice happened there. I mean, we talked about the unfortunate timing for Big that Get Right got that peak off in the previous round, but that round, Tadson got to sneak up on Highway Box. Draken was like a split second away from spotting Tadson creep up as well, but then a perfect flash comes in. Tadson gets two kills Highway, and that forever changes the round. And now Big are looking to perhaps 2 0 NIP next with an AWP. Delivers three kills. What the hell is going on with this? How is this happening? It's all over, it seems like. Just get right left. This has to be one of the best performances I've seen from Nex in a long time. He's been unbelievable and he's going to end what it. Tough. Fittingly so. 36 kills he ends the map on. And Nip have been swept aside. Big win at 2-0. They go forward. Nip are knocked out. What in the world, man? I don't even understand. I can't even comprehend... The next opping right there. That's just unreal stuff. Catching all that A main aggression by himself. Meanwhile, Tabson clears out B. Just everything goes against Nip in that round. Really well done. It is big. They continue to impress off the back of their performances at the major qualifiers and the major itself. They now take down Nip to meet Gambit. So our semifinals are set for tomorrow. This is going to be our opening match. It's going to be an all-French affair to kick things off. G2 versus Envy. And then it'll be Gambit versus Big. And then the finals that all kicks off at 12 Central European time tomorrow. Which if you're on the East Coast of the United States and you want to get up early, that would be 6 in the morning. Uh, but uh, yeah, we will see you folks tomorrow to finish this off and see who will be that next European team 
to make it on over. The NA side of the qualifier is going on right now. You can catch those streams. Just check HLTV.org. You'll be able to find them. I believe we will maybe host one of those streams on this channel after we sign off. But you could also check it out over at ESL underscore CSGO B. As I think the Cloud9 match is going on right now. I think that just ended. So we should be seeing some more matches going off very soon with Blue over there. Uh, it's been great casting with you, Vince, as usual. Been great. Uh, glad everyone tuned in. If you guys enjoyed it, please do follow up to catch the matches tomorrow. You can follow me over at Follow Dust on Twitter. Catch Vince over at On Fire Vince. And any, anything you want to throw in there, Vince, before we sign off? Any, uh, any added? I'm wrecked. 12 hours of casting off the bed. Good night. All right. There you go. Sound. See you later. Win.